Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Lou. Today we're going to be diving into the KiwiCo Panda Crate from 7 to 12 months. So this is the Explore With Me version. So the first thing that you're going to do is when you open the box, it's going to look a little bit like this. And I'm going to insert a picture right here. And it's, it's a relatively decent size, you know, but um, this is what you get inside. First of all, you will get a little booklet. And it's actually a pretty decent booklet. Like it goes through with the, you know, different, um, like how they're growing and um, what's, what's the, your child you know, learning and, you know, how to play and some tips and tricks in regards to playing. And it was, you know, it's, it's just information really. Um, <clears throat> you'll also get some cards with how to use the different toys and some different like activities that you can do that's on the back. I do like this information. I think it's great. I just, I just wish that it was together because my daughter can get a hold of this and well, like if I had it somewhere um, and she'll just start nibbling on it and I could lose these as well. Like, so yeah, that's the only thing that I don't really like about these cards is there's no way to put them and they're not like in a bundle. They just kind of loosen everywhere. There's also, they also give you some additional activities in which to do as well, which is pretty cool. And so some of these, like I've already done without even thinking about them. So, but others I've like, ah, oh, I've never thought about putting, you know, socks in a bowl and then like having her empty them out. Okay. Um, so they give you some additional activities as well. And Love Every does the same thing. Okay. Um, what is in it? Number one, you get a book. This is a board book, not like the water color one um board books are great i love board books but i have quite a few already i kind of would have wanted more of those water ones because that water one was really cool and it's one of her favorites because the, the pages are thicker and they're soft so she can like grab hold you saw in the review before how much she loves that one but she likes board books but she's not like it's a book it's, there's not it's not really that fun for her so yes and no in my opinion next one is this bead maze okay um this little bit here it's like it's got elastic on it so it kind of just sticks on there and then obviously you've got the different shapes i do like the more muted tones of the panda crates Oh, as in like the Kiwi Co versions. I don't know. I, I like muted tones better than these bright colors. But in saying that, she doesn't like. I already got a bead maze that I, I got it like ages ago before even this crate came, and so she doesn't really play with the beads as much as the other one. But she, what she likes is actually the suction cups. Um, she likes to suck on these. And that's what this toy is for. She grabs hold of it and just sticks it in her mouth and sucks on it. Um, I do like the wood. The wood is cool. Like it's it's a nice wood. But I already have one. Anyways, next one. You get this plush panda tissue holder kind of thing. Now it is weighted. So like there are, if you can hear that. There are like these weighted beads on the bottom, so it kind of stands up. <laughs> Sorry, just drop that. <laughs> um, and then there's obviously this wide opening. Now I do like the ease of this, of my baby being able to put her hands and grab the things out of it. So like, that's cool. But when she gets older, it's not going to be like, it's not gonna be as fun because it's too easy for her. So, um, and then it comes with these 
materials. Okay, definitely made out of cotton, simple, simply sewn, um, kind of like the love everyone as in simply sewn. I don't like the way that they design this is so that there's different multiple activities with these material. Like you can put all of these different materials together and make a book out of it. So give me just an example. So this is really rough. Okay, so you put all the edges together like so, okay, so all the edges are together, all right, and then you open it up like a book. What, I, I know they're going for like black and white sort of, you know, panda kind of idea, but I wish there was different colors as well as the different patterns, because when she gets older, I want to be able to go, all right, grab the red, yellow dot material. And she will grab the yellow dot material, not like just grab the dots, because which dots? Do you want the the long oval dots or the circular dots, sort of thing? I don't know, but they give you a whole bunch of different ones, and they fold into one another, and it goes into here. It's cute, but it's not my favorite. So, yes, last but not least. And yes, I mean last, because that's all they send, is this thing. Oh, a bit loud. Sorry. Is this. Again, I love the color palette. Like, it's so simple. Like, it's just a nice, it's just not too bright. It's, it's nice, nice colors. Um, it's good wood. Definitely well made and well crafted. And then they give you these black and white, they give you four coins, okay? And you put them through there or you can put them flat into here. So she can grab them out from here and she can put them through here. <clears throat> this is one of her favorite ones. Out of all the others, like this one is, this is the best out of everything. Okay, she loves these these coins. Like if I just gave her this without this, she would be happy. She likes to grab, tries to put them like sandwich them together in her hands and like bang things, and then she'll bang these two together because they make noise. And so like that's cool. I love that. This, I don't know how much more practical use this is going to be when she gets older. So I like toys that will be able to last and I can last a while and I can teach her different things. Like what, like, yeah, put things in the top and we can count. Cool. Go one coin, two coin, three coin, four coin. All right. What else? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like there's not, there's not much more practical use I can get out of this compared to like this like if this was a bit more you know less opening then she'd be able to like i could do like a hide and seek sort of feel like you know if you put your hand in and you could feel it and then test it like that that would work i can see that but maybe a makeup bag <laughs> i don't know um yeah, so that's the Kiwi Pox Explore with me. When I got it, I was very disappointed. I thought there would be more. I thought it would be a little different. And most of these, most of them were too young for her already. So to put it in perspective, I got the Love Everyone, which had you know, the toy, the, the tissue box version, which is made out of wood and that she loves. And it's very, I love it. Okay. I prefer that one over this one. And, you know, I already had a bead maze for her. So she turned, I got this when she was nine months. Okay. Well, just, just under nine months. 
This is meant to be from 7 to 12 months. She already knew everything what to do before this even came. And they said that it takes every, like, you get the box every two months or so. Well, we got the first one, the three to six month one, when she was six months old. And it, it took almost three months for this one to get here. And so I was a little disappointed in that too. I contacted saying, hey, um, where, where's this box? I haven't received any information. The website's kind of shocking with that. And I didn't hear from customer service at all. And then like two, like a week and a half later, it arrived at my door. Like the first one came within five days. Once I put my order in, it was great. This one took like a month and a half to get. I don't know what was going on. Like the pandemic hasn't really changed much in regards to mail for me. So I, I don't know what happened and the fact that they didn't get back to me kind of disappointing so i cancelled my subscription with them because it just didn't seem worth it so that's my opinion and that's my review now i she's been i've been testing these out for a month okay so it's not like it's not like i've you know gave this to her one day no i've been doing this every single day giving her the exact same toys and for a whole month just to see how much she likes them and they're not her favorite she doesn't gravitate to them she prefers <laughs> taking clothes out of the laundry basket compared to this thing i don't know i don't know if it's just my daughter or not now there are, like i said there are some cool things that i like about them i love the color palette i love that it's made out of wood there's some things that make sense, some things that don't, but I'm just going to be sticking with my love every because, well, I've already bought all the ones that I want. That's my review and that's my honest opinion, guys. And I know some people are going to disagree with my opinion, which is perfectly fine, but that's how, that's my experience that I've had with KiwiCo. Now I do love, like I've been looking on their website I do love the little kits afterwards and the toy things like there's a bead maze but it's made out of like it's an atom it's an atom bead maze and as a science teacher I love that idea and you know the the frog dissection you know tissue box version so like it's like a kind of like a it's a frog but then it has like a little opening and you can pull the different organs out like that is cool like that would have been a great toy as a subscription box like no one else has done that love every has not done that put that frog subscription into the explore with me one like because there's like dangly bits and you know babies love dangling stuff <laughs> curtains ribbons tea towels that are hanging off the oven like they love danglies that would have been cooler if they did like a panda version if they wanted to keep with the the poppy the panda i will be probably getting the adam bead maze the frog dissection and probably some other different things um, from them just because of how creative it is and the fact that i can use that year after year after year because it's so usable and it's long term and i like toys that are long term that are functional, I guess. So, yeah. If you like this content, I will be doing a reviews on all the Love Every subscription toys that I got. I did skip a couple because I thought they were pointless. Um, my personal opinion again. And yeah. And I would also do another video in regards to why I thought KiwiCo wasn't worth it for a, for a subscription. Whew, what a word. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day and that you are kind and courteous to others as you are on your path.